Nozel, how would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully. Mm. A thousand times over. Hmm. <coughs> good to know. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met. I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Not easily rattled, I see. Good makes the next part that much more straightforward. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But... A savior, that's for certain. Because my compassion is boundless, I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Oh, that's disappointing. I prefer it when my clients put up a fight. Only to realize victory was never an option. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg. Borrow and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, 
That's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Devil Raphael flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Githyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my Queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my Queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the hells. This is unusual, but I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many planes. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now... As for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Oh, you attempted, were you? Interesting. What grabbed you exactly? His parlor tricks, his manners, his lavish spread, even. You must have found something alluring to overlook the fact that he was a devil. I've made you doubt yourself. Sorry, not what I intended. Let's take time to think about it. Some food and rest, things will be clear then. Hmm, or is it? Suddenly I'm not so sure. Isn't it terrible when someone causes you to doubt yourself? my head. Do that again and I'll leave you to bleed out in this wilderness. Understand? And watch out for Raphael. He's better at getting into people's heads than you are, you ass. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with, and then require more still. 
You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Why were they here? That might be worth a look. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. One by one, the spiders retreat to the rear of the crevice, lulled by your murmurs. You stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. Your sour face is tiring, Shadowheart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. West, Baldur's Gate, East, Eltaro. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response.
I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, true soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brynna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mind the true soul. She will, she, she. <sighs> Edwin, Ed, please. He's with the Absolute now. A true soul, thank the Absolute. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen, like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. We were looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. I don't know any druids. What? Are you... are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Ah, I will serve at no ruler's side but my queen's. I'm sorry, true soul. I only repeated what I thought I knew. It seems the Absolute still has a great deal to teach me. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, madam. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, true soul, we may stand a chance. It spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Curious. Looks like the Absolute's drawing all sorts to become followers. Impressive, in a way. By the Sundering, the Parasite allows us to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. A power born of Elithids might be dangerous in the wrong hands, but valuable in ours. It's only valuable if we understand it. And we don't. Not yet, at least. It's a powerful talent. Use it. But use it wisely. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. But this body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? 
The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Laser, have you ever done a good deed just for the sake of it? I have performed deeds well and efficiently. Is this what you mean? Mm, not exactly. But you answered my question. vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. when they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster. I've faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. Maybe I need more power. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint them. Breathing, despite everything. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. 
I told you to go. There's death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. Of course he will, and then we'll return home. He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. We were attacked, were cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Knolls. No, I won't leave him. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Frontiers, hmm? Do you always need to be the center of attention? Anything but. I don't fight to be flattered, Lazo. I fight to save lives. training those children. You were so gentle. That's not how I was taught. Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadowheart. Dead goblins? I wouldn't quite Dead say travelers. that. Dead travelers? I learned a lesson, after all. Were they heading to the Druid's and Grove? They came to resent your tutor, I bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. Goblins are close. I'd know that stench anywhere. If not over, then through. So, Will, what was the Blade of Frontier's toughest kill? Ah. It was a great script. You sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Oh. 
shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Don't, don't let me keep you, boss. The lads were gathered by the windmill. Everything here is ours. Bugger off! Oh, got to be something here. Absolute don't want this junk. So, How do you know? Will with a Y. I just do. Why? <sighs> why? That's right. But why? Why, why? A great uncle's name, my father said. But I just figured he couldn't spell. There's a cellar here somewhere. I don't see one. over there.
Assume nothing.
grow heavy. Best to make camp. Hmm. What's that? Just another crate. You do your best to wipe the dirt from your face and look presentable. Adventuring is murder on one's wardrobe, though. Speak your name. I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. What think you of the Zalkir known as Zastan? You are no Zalkir, but are you wise? Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? Acceptable, finally. If you could see anything in me, what would it be? Pathetic, a poor choice. You will be purged. Time to press ahead. my master. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it.
There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then... Waste a step. Blackets will be done. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You can sense something dark about this tome. Something profane. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. We surely shouldn't leave such a threat out, where anyone could stumble across it. If you want to keep your insides on the inside, don't cause any trouble. Thank you. 
Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. <laughs> Funny. That's what our birdie wanted. Release me this instant, you beasts! Unless you want to join him up there, you best pay the toll. Tough it up! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. A lot of coin, I think. You want a haggle? Fine. The price just doubled. How do you like that? Good choice. Now clear off. If I see you here again, no price will save ya. <laughs> Back again? I gave my last bloody warning already. You got a death wish, I reckon.
I go. going.
Good idea, I think. Slow down. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We... we should keep moving. Bag of Kabara. There's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it, whatever you are. You saved me, now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm.
Let's see what this does. Still alive, so that's progress. Eager for battle. Just another crate. scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door. Then, a low moan. Someone, or something, is having a bit of fun. Leave it. Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience, and I don't want to fight.
Don't waste a step. for me, all of them. Just another crate. I'm so glad I found... Wait, it's me! It's Althera! From the Grove! I'm sorry for barging in like this, but... I had to come find you. You've... Well... Inspired me. I want to stand on my own two feet. 
to prove that I can be half the bard Lee Harlow was. I want to join you, to fight by your side. I want to help people as you've helped me. I've been running since El Terrell. And when we finally arrived at the Grove, we found danger there too. Unless I hide away from the world, I can't avoid it. So I'd rather face it head on with you. Really? Just like that? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I won't let you down. I promise. I can't wait to hit the road. Where will we go? Neverwinter? Oh, can we go to Waterdeep? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take it one note at a time, as my teacher would say. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. If we don't know what we're walking into, that bridge will collapse under us. The devil has a plan. He's playing with us. Cazador, my old master, liked to toy with people too. Let them think there was hope right until the end. Until he snatched it all away. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Chuck, be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Well met. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fighted to dine with a devil. <laughs> um, I've never met a devil, but of course I've read a great deal about them. Even feigning a mortal form, it was easy to detect the whiff of sulfur about him. Mm. To spot the flicker of hellfire in his eyes. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us. Badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. By figuring out his true intentions, Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, 
We wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Something the matter? You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. Dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? The little worm seems silent. Your companions sleep blissfully tonight. If it were the rage of a tadpole, no others seem to be affected. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Deed is bright and clear as the dawning day. <sighs> Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. Chuck. He's hoping the explanation is less sloppy than the kill. Now, I can't help but notice that one of us is positively drenched in blood, so... She was brutalized. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. Was it you? The blood speaks for itself. Why? The parasite must be affecting you deeply. The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper, hungrier. Even if it was the worm, this was peculiar indeed. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air. As the Inquisition departs, you are left alone with a familiar headache.
Much is uncertain, but you know one thing for sure. The darkness will strike again, unless you find a light. Just so you know, I don't judge you for what happened to that bard, Elfira. But the look of guilt on your face was priceless. <laughs> I don't care, really. But you could have been more subtle about it. I was no friend to Alfira, but there was no sense in killing her. I'll be watching everyone in this camp like a hawk. Especially you. Alfira wouldn't have harmed a housefly. A gentle young soul slain in her prime. Go on, then. State your business with me, from a safe distance, if it's all the same to you. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Thank you. It's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. My lady, I bow to your boundless kindness. Thy wheel of fate turns ever to the dark. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? The bard's death is a weight for thine own conscience to bear. She will be left to the peace of eternity, where the urge shall seek her no more. So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me.
You see anything shiny? It's ours. Did I play games like this in my youth? Was I sweet once? That might be worth a look. Don't waste the step. That's enough. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. Indeed. 
How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food? Not food. Friend. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand, and you a delicacy. Were I so lucky? I've no use for the absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only, gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold, and the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold, we check brand, good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. A slip of the tongue. You meant to make a better offer, surely. Oh, but you do love to tease. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. Alas, not so much as a nibble. Food? No, not food. No taste is good. Like bear. Dwarf better! Something over there. Must you? This innate shadow pains me. Best keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. No taste is good. Not fair. Pick to fight. The consequences are hardly surprising.
get this over with. Freshened up and ready to fight. The tiefling's corpse stirs with the spell. You realize the tiefling's body has been torn open by huge hands. Strange warriors. Quick afoot, this one, to avoid Githyanki hunters. Someone's diary. That explains what happened here.
missing children. Maggie Terrence, Marcus Terrence, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. empty. That might be worth a look. 